Kenya Publishers Association has summoned Story Moja, the publishers of the controversial book Blood Ties. Now, the book, which contains foul language, was in a list of books required by some schools for standard six pupils. The Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development had not approved the book, and the Ministry of Education has warned school heads against recommending such books. Our reporter Sharon Baranga has more on that story. The content of the controversial book titled Blood Ties by South African author Zimkitha Mlanzeli left many parents shocked. Some schools had directed parents to purchase the book, which contains foul language for children in class 6. We have summoned the publisher concerned, and that is uh, mandated by our constitution because we work under a code of conduct which every publisher has signed. So that code of conduct gives us authority to summon any publisher for them to explain uh, the circumstances under which this book was recommended as a reader in class six. Though not approved by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development, the book had made its way to bookshops in the country. KICD clarified the matter last week after outcry online over the contents of the book. Any of you can actually bring a book from any part of the world without consulting anybody and take it to any shop in Kenya, again, without consulting anybody. That uh, freedom comes with a responsibility. And responsibilities come with limitations. What you can do and what you cannot do and to what extent. The Ministry of Education has directed all regional and county directors of education in the country to ensure that schools use the approved books. The Ministry has warned school heads that recommending such books is in contravention of Section 27 of the KICD Act 2013. The Kenya Publishers Association says that by end of November, all public primary schools will have received textbooks for Grade 4. The Ministry of Education will be rolling out Grade 4 class under the competency-based curriculum next year. Sharon Baranga, NTV, Nairobi.